that treatment can be drug resistant. So here are some statistics that you can put in mind when we are treating epilepsy. The first medicine is the most successful one in many patients. It will respond, patients will respond to their treatment in about 50 to 70%. Seizures will stop on the first medication and that is the best uh, outcome of treatment. And then if the first medication fails to control the seizures, then we can go to the second medication and the chances of the second medication to stop the seizures can drop precipitously to about 15%. So that is a very low percentage. And then if two medications fails to control the seizures, then we go to the third medicine and afterwards, and that chances will be one to 5%. So very low chances. The way we approach drug resistant epilepsy and how we, we deal with it is to get, uh, make sure we do a video EEG, inpatient video EEG. We admit the patient to the hospital. We do long-term video EEG for multiple days, day or two or three or longer. And then we record the actual seizures. We sometimes stop the medicine. We'll do photic stimulation, all these things to trigger seizures. And then we see the brain waves during the, the seizure. It, it, is it epilepsy or patient has psycho, psychogenic seizures or, or the patient has physiological events like heart related issues. There are multiple things can look like seizures that they're not. So we make sure we diagnose that, diagnose the type of epilepsy, is it focal or generalized? And then if it is focal, where is it happening in the brain in one spot or more than that? And then once we do that, then we can do other investigations like MRI mapping of the brain activity to see if we can do a surgical treatment.